Hey guys, so I managed to make a little trip over to the NPS store today. Denver, say hi. Yeah, good boy. Um, the NPS store is like a, uh, kind of like a surplus, I guess like Goodwill for those of you who don't know. Um, it's where you can get deals like on things that were lost in shipping, returned, or whatever. Uh, some of it's used, some of it's new, it just depends what you get, but I'll go over the hauls I got today. I have the receipt here to show you guys what I got. So here's the NPS today's date, the time, and you can see exactly what I got. I got some medicine for my kids, some, some Coke, and I'll show you the other two. These two right here are the ones that we want to talk about. The Campbell Houseville 13 gallon air compressor and the Craftsman C3 19 0.2 volt kit. So I just barely opened this one up. As you can tell, I paid $104 and 99 cents for this kit. I wish I would have op uh, recorded op me opening it. But this is how the box looked when I purchased it. Everything, as you see, was thrown inside. Everything still has wrapping on it down to the Saza. All pieces are here and accounted for. C3 charger, the saw, flashlight, and two batteries, and the bag, all for a total of, like I stated, $104.99. This is how the bag, or this is how the box looked when I got it. I forgot to show earlier on the bottom of this box. Right there, there it is. $104.99 <laughs> Craftsman C3 lithium combo for this whole four pack in Denver. Who wants to show us his bone, huh? Yeah. And for those of you wondering, he is a golden retriever husky mix who is a total goofball. Huh. All right, so now we're out in my garage. It's uh, winter still here in Utah. Uh, it's kind of shitty out, but bear with me. Let's see if I can get this flipped around. The air compressor that Campbell house filled one as you saw on the receipt, this is what I picked up. It's a 13 gallon, 125 PSI max. And there's all the dimensions on it and all the specs. I just barely opened up this top part. I have not even fully unboxed this yet. But as you can tell, literally everything's here in packaging, uh, not even touched. For those of you wondering if I actually did get it, yes, I did. As you can tell, I paid, there's the price right there from the NPS store, $107.40 for this air compressor. So we'll unbox it, get it put together, and see how it actually works. So before we get started on this, I'm going to try to get set up to where we can just do a time-lapse shot on this. I'm not sure what we're going to find. Like I said, when you buy these things, like it was, you know, it was sealed kind of like this taped and it's a gamble because once you open it you can't really return it so yeah it is a gamble um it, there is a possibility that it was damaged in shipping or whatever but then again that's why you pay so cheap for these items because it's you know it's a it's a risk so let's go ahead i'll try to get it set up um, i'm just shooting this on my iphone so i know the video quality is not going to be fantastic but uh, if y'all just want to come with me and bear with it, here we go. Okay, and as y'all saw, I just barely took all that apart out of the box. Denver had to join us. Um, this still has like the plastic on absolutely everything. To be honest, I looked up this brand. I think it's a Walmart brand. I really don't know. It, yeah, it's made in China. But for just garage use of a mess, that my brother-in-law does. I figured it would come in handy and some of the smaller projects that I have just going on around the house. For the price, I couldn't beat it. You know, I, I felt as if it was a great deal for what it was. So I'll get it uh, finished, put together here and we will see exactly if it even runs or works. Hopefully it does. It looks like everything is in great shape. Um, should have oil as far as I know of. I don't actually have an air hose on me at the moment, but we can look into possibly going and get one really quick. Maybe I'll run back to the NPS store and see what's going on, if they have any spares over there. But I'll finish getting this all 
set up here and we'll add some oil, top it off and see what's going on, see if we can run it and make it work. So we're almost done with assembly, as you can tell. Just need a little bit more oil to get it up to the red dot. Uh, so far it looks great. We'll have it running here momentarily, won't we, Denver? All right, so it took almost the entire bottle of whatever this stuff is. Like, again, I said this thing is from China, so who knows? It's probably cooking oil or something for all we know. But I am going to add a little bit of this in there. I do use this in my uh, Dodge pickup truck quite often. It is fantastic. So I'm going to add a little bit to this. And uh, we'll see if we can get done with that. I'm just going to add a little bit. This stuff is pretty concentrated. Um, for those of you that haven't used it, here's the back of it right here. It's fantastic. I love this stuff. So, all right, here we go. All right, so here we are. We're about to do the first startup on it. Again, here's the first startup procedure, braking procedure that it has listed. Open drain valve on the bottom of the tank, done. Uh, auto off switch, currently off. It's that red one right there. Um, let's see what else, plug it in, okay. And then uh, it doesn't really say anything about um, uh, for the regulator there so I'm not entirely sure we'll give it a try we'll hook it up I won't bring you all through that because that's gonna take a minute if anything I'm gonna charge my phone during that half hour time frame and Denver's just gonna get himself covered in sawdust so here we go I'll record the initial startup and then we'll continue on from there I have to use an extension cord uh, I could move it closer but the It'll just be more work than what it's worth. We're gonna give it a try. See what happens, just based off of this. All right, we're plugged in. Oil's on, oil cap is on. Breeder cap is on. All right, per the instructions. Plug and power cord, turn auto off switch to auto position, run compressor for 30 minutes. And I'll start the timer on my phone and go plug it in. But, uh, all right, here we go. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the timer just went off. We just got done with that. Uh, I didn't hear any metallic sounds. I didn't hear anything goofy with it during the entire time frame. Now I do have some tools we could try to hook up to this. Let me see if I have either the correct fittings. It's gonna either gonna be a three eighths or quarter inch. That's my guess. Uh, we'll try, see what happens. Um, I'll get the valves all shut off. We'll see if it actually builds pressure and all that. And uh, we'll see, we'll, get, we'll right, go from there. Just shut off. Uh, it took, I would guess, two or three minutes to build full pressure. Again, this is the full time, the first time it's actually built up pressure. Uh, it is giving off a little bit of a weird smell. I'm guessing that's from when it was fully assembled, because that's what it smells like off the sides. Maybe fingerprints or whatever that were on at the time is just burning off. And for those of you that want these off, I will gladly rip them off. Here in a second, as soon as I can get it off. There you go, there's one. And there's the next one. As you can tell, not bad at all. Built up pressure, it's an auto off feature. Um, so I don't, have a, uh, I don't have an air hose for this, but I do have an old 
Uh, piece of junk. Um, Harbor Freight air hammer. We'll give this a try. It is the correct chuck fitting on it. So bear with me as I get this plugged in for a second and we'll see what we can do. So it, again, this isn't the best way to do it. All this is for demonstration purposes to see if we can actually get this to work. Not bad at all. Denver, I didn't mean to scare you. And I did put him inside during the time frame of when this was all runny and just barely let him back out. Uh, I'll try to go get an air hose. We'll try to do a review of when this is actually under pressure. But again, not bad for the price that I had paid. Let me get this uh, disconnected really quick. Bear with me one moment. Never, excuse me. All right. And again, there we go. Not bad for the price that I paid. I really can't go wrong with it, in my opinion. Again, it says it has a one year warranty. We'll see about maybe trying to get that done. Um, I don't know if y'all want to see any of this stuff on the side. That's up to you. Again, not bad for the price that I paid. Um, I can do another review on some of those, the, that Craftsman set. Again, this isn't the one I just got from upstairs. This is the previous ones I have had for quite a while, as you can tell. I, Not that I absolutely love them to death, but it's not a bad price for what you get. And I've had this set for years, uh, probably at least six seven years is my guess as you can tell that it's got the older battery but then again they're both c3 a little bit older style so if you want i could do a review on some of those it's not the very first time i've had these that was just a great deal because i know in the past it did cost quite a bit just to get some of these and again i can try to do maybe a review on it i'm not entirely sure um but yeah thanks guys we appreciate it denver say bye <laughs> That's Denver's goodbye. And again, there's a lot of other projects we could do reviews on and stuff. I always get free stuff all the time, like that snowblower, the battery charger, the wood burning stove behind it, the uh, weed whacker up there. I have a lawnmower I've gotten for free. I've got a trimmer buried back there I've received for free. Uh, fridge is free, freezer was free. All these items work. That fridge was free as well. Again, what I do is a lot of my spare time, I look for good free deals, uh, just like all this box of who knows what was free that I gotta go through and uh, get cleaned out now because my brother-in-law made a ginormic mess with the woodworking uh, hobby he's recently picked up and belt buckle hobby. So we'll go from there, we'll see what happens. He's got some pretty cool ideas. If y'all want to see me that stuff, just let me know. I'll try to get back on YouTube a little bit here that I got some free time. Not that I don't travel as much anymore. But uh, yeah, thanks guys. We appreciate it. Let me know what you think.